I'll be reacting to The Roll Ends With You, the animation episode 4. I'll be watching it from Crunchyroll, I mean Funimation's website, I don't know why it's a Crunchyroll. And I'll be starting my reaction in 1, 0, go. Alright, pumped up for this. And I always love the cute little logo there. It always puts a smile to my face. Hachiko. Zero months, seven days. Although I'm gonna guess that this time it's gonna be a lot harder to survive. Especially if he's gonna end up fighting solo. Aww. And I hope he can pull that off. Aww, and, and that was so sweet in, in that instance where he smiled there. I mean, even though Yashiki deserves to have a normal life, so does Neku. He deserves to have a normal life, too. That's provided the Reapers don't have any shitty surprises in store for him. Yes, it's opening! Oh, I actually listened to the, um... To the opening that they were going to have for the series originally on YouTube. Um, YouTube. And it is also pretty darn amazing. Actually. But. I actually love uh, this. The opening that they use right now. More. But in saying that. The opening that they were going to use though. Is really really nice. And looks like YouTube removed it. Shit. Damn. Yeah it looks like YouTube removed it. Because I can't find it. But yeah, something about Twister though, it's just, man, I love it. I just wonder when we're gonna see those two Reapers fight though. You know what, the way they emphasize Mr. Mew, I wonder if there's gonna be a chance of Shaky coming back. Or maybe not. Shit, of all of them in the opening and the final bit, they haven't really given a lot of time to five of them, so can't wait to see their deal. <laughs> the fuck? Okay, then. I mean, that shouldn't be that bad, though. That was uh, say that's not that bad, but then he's gonna, but he's not partnered up. Looking dude, unless he's another guy that also beat the game once. <laughs> I just love how he says that so fucking casually. Where I'll be your partner. Damn, our gray haired dude is a badass. How does he know not his name though? That's the bigger question. Okay, that's fucking creepy. He sounds like a motherfucking stalker. Yeah, I mean anyone in a good spot would be creeped the fuck out. Oh. Josh has a cool name. Probably not in the previous game, but. Maybe one of the games in the past, that's probably it. 
I just like the somber team that's playing. Huh? Unless maybe Joshua ain't completely human. Maybe Joshua's a human and Reaper hybrid. Meant to upset the apple cart. I'm not gonna blame him for not trusting Joshua. I mean, he just shows up out of nowhere and knows already a lot about Neku. And he seems to have a... Oh, this smug, smug, beautiful, handsome. Devious looking man. Jeez, this to do it without a calculator. Hopefully it's uh, something positive towards the favor of our boys. That does not seem like small stuff to me. If you ask me my opinion on that. Is he talking about unless they're referring to like the whole system where everyone the whole players and Reaper system then maybe I can understand the genius the reason as to why that man could be called a genius or if it's something else entirely I mean he gave him a deadline he did it within the deadline I mean, what most of this dude want? Sure, that was like a pretty cool badass. Huh. I wonder why he says happy miscalculation. Maybe he wants to... That makes him, that just makes the man sound like an absolute perfectionist. I wouldn't blame him for being lost. Hopefully explain the, the context behind all of this eventually. I'm assuming all those players that have simplistic character designs are probably going to die. That's going to be my guess. Just like in the first game. Probably those are the only ones that... Aww. <laughs> Whoa! It's like about that man wasting zero time. Oh shit. Yeah, this is definitely feeling tensed. And then game one. Step to the left and right, dude. Ha! Okay, I mean, at least this time they're actually showing some of the fodder die on screen. Yo, this is a whole different psychological element. Oh, shit. 
Maybe he's trying to get the players to go up against each other. And I actually love this too, how you see the amount of growth for Neku because instead of other instead of Neko getting emotional support like he did in the first game, he's not acting as emotional support for other people and trying to tell people to not fight against each other. That's some good writing there. Okay, this just took the bait completely. <sighs> nah, Neko, you tried your best, man. <laughs> Whoa! Hey, we finally get to see the Reapers actually lash out. Oh, shit. But yeah, Neku and Josh aren't ready for the Reapers. Yeah, that's my guess. Should Josh be scared about the sir? How the fuck is he calm? Unless he has absolute confidence or he's got some trump card hidden within him. Okay, this makes it definitely makes Josh look pretty damn creepy in a good way. <laughs> I'm glad he's on our boys side. <laughs> what? Okay, this is just packing power. Wow. Okay, well that kind of power shit. I wouldn't be surprised if Neko and Josh have enough to uh, take on a Reaper. I don't think it's gonna be that easy though. I mean, he's already getting cut near the title, too. This guy sort of loves using the word Zeta. Hey, it's only fun for him, it ain't fun for the others that involved having to survive. <laughs> oh, man, that's got the fucked up perspective there. Ah, man, I was love looking at the Hachiko statue. I mean, hey, at the very least, it's beating up. Oh boy. Oh, maybe he's getting his memories back. Hey! Oh, okay. But then why did he trigger the moment he touched Joshua, though? Unless Joshua is... Unless Joshua could be... No, could Joshua be Neku's memories? Or could it be... Unless it's Joshua himself... Unless Joshua is Neku himself. Or Neku could be Joshua. Or I don't even have any fucking idea. <laughs> I'm just getting fucking paranoid right now. Well, all the mystery box elements in the series. Hmm. 
Huh. Oh, this dude. I wonder why they refer to numbers, though. Oh, but how do you pay for that, though? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh. Oh, that explains a lot, then. It's just sad scene. Oh, it's sad what happened with Ryan and B. They honestly deserve better, better lives instead of the way they went down. I love how you have some nice anim background animation there too during all these scenes. It isn't lost on me. That type of detail. This series, Super Cub and Backflip, are, are one of the few that actually are consistent with the background animations this season. And a few others. Yeah, it looks like they packed a wall with the sound effect that they made when they landed. Okay, yeah, it looks like things aren't going to be as easy as Joshua was expecting. Oh! I love that chemistry building there, where you have Neku risk it all for Joshua there. That's actually pretty cute. We're seeing Neku, aside from caring more about other people's, and becoming, well, a lot more intelligent because he's um, perceiving the situation a lot more quicker now. I love those little selfish bits too. Selfless. <laughs> yes! And it's nice seeing Neku also gain more self confidence within himself. Damn, it looks badass as fuck in that angle there. I love the. I like how you have a Joshua just like trying to motion around with Neko with the way he's talking. Hmm? I don't know what it means by type of noise though. Oh, Harry. Oh, she's going to the funeral, from the looks of it. Or not the funeral, but I'm gonna put her in the grave. Aww. Man, that really makes everything that went, that happened to Shiki just a lot more sadder. No, Nick, it's not your fault, man. It's the motherfucking people who are in charge of making this world the system of Reapers and players. It's the Reapers' fault, man. It's not yours. The only thing you can do, Nick, is just to win. That's the only thing you can do. But that hurts, though.
あオブゼバントですねアメリカのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチャンピオンのチ But why was he killed though? Okay, shit. <laughs> oh my. Wait, what the fuck? Unless they're telling. Unless it's offering beat that they'll revive Ryan if he were to take down some players. That's the only guess as to why he beats a Reaper right now. Okay, at least here we see that be at least somewhere deep inside him he has. Some sympathy for the circumstances regarding Neku and Shiki because he would have continued on fighting if that weren't the case. So I do love that. It actually gives some nuances to beat there. Son of a bitch! It's gonna be a pain in the ass w i t h an extra week though. But damn, don't you s c a r e when you have a face up? Did you just scare me? I'm like, yo! This dude! This dude is creepy as fuck, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I'm like. You know, I wouldn't. Shit, now there's a lot of theories because that's making me start to wonder. Could Josh have been the one that led to Neku's death? Or is he some kind of like. Or could he potentially be a part of Neku? Or maybe one of Neku's relatives? Or maybe Neku's memories, for all we know? And maybe Joshua is just taking up the form of someone that Neku really valued. And maybe that's why Neku's memories are coming back whenever he touches Joshua. I don't fucking know! Those are my theories! Oh man, oh, 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 amazing episode. I'm gonna give this one a 9.5 out of 10. This series has been amazing two weeks back to back now. Cats. Hopefully, the cats is something that's gonna work in their favor. Hopefully, something involving the cute little Mr. Mew. I'm gonna cross my fingers on that and hope for the best. Now, aside from like, the intensity of the episode, there are other reasons as to why I felt the episode is worthy of a. High tier rating of a 9.5 out of 10. Another thing that I also really adored about this episode, I just adored the fact like the psychological pain that Nick was suffering through. Just seeing the fact that he couldn't, that he couldn't save Shiki was really sad. And his reaction to seeing Eerie get flowers was really darn sad. And I love that scene. It gave the episode a l l A lot of emotional punch, and I already had a lot of emotional punch to begin with, but that gave it especially so even more emotional punch in Gravitas. And that's why I like this episode because, no, I didn't like I love the episode because it's giving me, it's like it made me feel all these feelings that I wasn't expecting going in. And I'm like, 
Oh man, this series, it never holds back and make it make me feel pain. But you know what? I adore it for that. Because it shows you that the series, it never holds back. And I wouldn't have it any other way. That's why I absolutely adored the writing. And just like the change of allegiances and some of the characters like, say, B. My guess is he's doing this because they're probably promising that they'll arrive Rhyme or something if he were to kill some players. It's going to be my guess. I don't think he'd be serving the Reapers for any other reason. So I love that development too. I love how Neku is um, becoming much more charismatic. Joshua is scary as fuck. I love the new character.